For months, the Guilford County School Board and Guilford County Republican Party have argued about who should fill a vacant Guilford County School Board seat. In April, the board appointed Bill Goebel. Now the Guilford County Republican may not be able to keep his seat for much longer. WFNY News 2's Daniel Cruz spoke with Goebel about the party, about what's next. Yeah, Bill Goble was sworn in last April after the school board discovered a loophole in legislation that would have seated Michael Logan. Not long after, Goble was censured by the Guilford County Republican Party and later charged with party disloyalty by the Guilford County GOP. Now in May, two Republicans on the school board, Amy Pratt and Linda Wellboard, along with Michael Logan, filed a civil suit against all seven of the other school board members. The lawsuit questions Goebel's position on the board. It also claims that there were unauthorized meetings with those seven people, including Goebel, in an effort to seat him instead of Michael Logan. At the time, Logan did not have enough support from the board to assume the seat. Uh, I had never met anybody on the board before. I met Diana Small one time, a long time ago, and uh, I remember Linda Wellborn came up and introduced herself. I didn't know who she was. Uh, so I had no contact with anybody on the board uh, prior to that day of April 4th. Now the legislature is once again getting involved. Senate Bill 9 could remove Goebel and allow the party to nominate someone who must then be given the oath of office at the next school board meeting. A statement from Representative John Hardister, who supports the bill, reads in part, quote, in my view, this saga has been unfortunate and unnecessary, and the dilemma should be rectified. They're trying to get me to resign, put enough pressure on me, but they don't know me. I don't, I don't, I don't back down. In fact, if anything, it puts my foot to the pedal to go faster and harder. According to Guilford County GFP Chair Chris Meadows, the disloyalty charges are essentially on hold for the time being until the legislation passes. Meadows says Goebel could be off the board as soon as their next scheduled board meeting, and that is on July 18th.